your child will sometimes need help getting secretions out of their lungs. You can accomplish this by a process called suctioning. You will know when to suction by the look, listen, and feel technique. Look at your child for any changes in color like blue or pale lips, fingers, or toes. Increased work of breathing, facial expressions, secretions in the mouth, around the stoma, or in the adapter attached to the trach. Listen to your child's breath sounds for wet, high-pitched noises. Feel your child's chest for vibrations. This may be coming from the secretions from building up in the lungs. Wash hands with soap and water or apply hand sanitizer for 20 seconds. You will need a suction catheter, suction machine, gloves, or clean hands and saline. When choosing an open suction catheter size, choose the largest catheter that fits inside the trach. This allows maximum clearance of the secretions. Turn the machine on and check for safe suction pressure. Remove the suction catheter from the package. Be careful not to touch the part of the catheter that goes into the tracheostomy. Attach the suction catheter to the suction machine tubing. With one hand, place your thumb and first finger at measured suction depth while holding the suction tubing with the other hand. Insert the catheter to safe suction depth. Place the thumb over the suction opening. Slowly remove the catheter in a swirling motion. Be careful not to touch the part of the suction catheter that goes into the tracheostomy. Suctioning your child's tracheostomy tube should not take more than four to six seconds. Repeat suctioning steps as needed, allowing 30 seconds for your child to catch his or her breath between each suctioning. Repeat suctioning steps as needed, allowing 30 seconds for your child to catch his or her breath between each suctioning. Replace HME. Rinse secretions from the catheter after each time you suction. Do so by dipping the end of the suction catheter into distilled water and applying suction until the catheter is free of secretions. Call your doctor if secretions are thick yellow-green, foul-smelling, blood-tinged lasting longer than 24 hours or becoming worse.